So I've just been listening to the Housing Minister give his ministerial address to this year's conference where he set out some of the government's priorities for housing. He talked about their ambitions in particular for the levelling up and regeneration bill uh, and how he'd like to work with the sector as the government develops and takes forward its, its housing and planning policies. What the Minister shared in his address was some of the detail of the uh, levelling up and regeneration bill. He talked in particular about the government's ambitions to uh, change the way in which the planning system works with a view to speeding it up, uh, seeing greater involvement from local residents and local communities. He talked about the government's ambition to introduce a right to buy for, for housing associations and actually he reconfirmed that the government ambition to build 300,000 homes a year still uh, is in place and that they very much want to do all they can to make sure that we're building the homes that we very much need as a nation. So there are some areas where we need to see more from government, uh, either in terms of uh, other agendas or, or more information or on planning. Uh, good to see greater involvement of local communities in the planning uh, process, but we need to make sure that things like street votes are, are, are used to support people who want to see development happen, uh, as well as those who, who maybe want to stop it. Uh, we remain concerned that the, the bill proposes removing Section 106, at least for some sites. That's been incredibly important in delivery of social housing. Uh, there is a new levy proposed but we still need to be sure that the levy will see uh, social housing delivered uh, on site uh, rather than simply uh, a payment towards it taking place. Uh, the Minister mentioned the rent settlement that will happen driven off the September uh, CPI figure. Uh, he said the department's working on uh, options for that at pace. We really need to see some more detail about the degree to which government can help landlords manage a really difficult balancing act between affordability and the need to invest in, in homes and, and news supply. Uh, on right to buy, uh, he reconfirmed the Secretary of State's commitment to one for one, like for like, replacement of homes sold. That's very welcome, but we do need to see the detail about how that is going to work and how the funding is going to work for that. And finally, the one thing that was missing from the Minister's speech actually was anything on the net zero, zero carbon agenda. Hugely important. We, we do need to hear more from the government about how they see that agenda panning out and the support they want to give the sector to achieve it. It was extremely reassuring to hear the Minister recognise the role of organisations like CIH uh, and his commitment and his willingness and enthusiasm actually for engaging with CIH and its members to make sure that, that our expertise and members' expertise can be harnessed to help government develop policies that will work on the ground. And of course, uh, we're very, very keen to do that. I've already suggested to the Minister there's some areas where we might be able to help and we'll be carrying on with that work as the government progresses its agenda.